Eric Mwade with Mwade.com. Let's take a look at this London-based stock to see whether we can understand where resistance comes from. Or at least try and understand where we get resistance. Here we can see around the 1000 price mark. There has been some type of resistance. In fact, we can see here the monthly closing high was just a tad below 1000. And since then there have been attempts to break out. But all these attempts have been unsuccessful. Failure here, failure here, and failure here. Now, more importantly, is this recent failure about three months ago when there was an attempt to break out above the previous monthly closing high. After that failed breakout attempt, of course, we see the stock has reversed and is trading lower. Now, where does this resistance, let's say, around here come from well on this monthly chart we can draw a line connecting rsi highs and this is a three-year monthly chart if i draw the line like that maybe change the width of that line so we can see it clearly we can see that this is where the rsi rejected the stock which corresponded with this failure to break out and ultimately we've drifted lower. So that could be one of the reasons why we've seen this rejection around the 1000 price mark and a pullback. Also, we can draw a line connecting RSI lows that gave to the recent break. Take that break there. of that high and just draw a resistance line based on the uniformity principle more of this can be found in the description of the video and of course that is resistance again coinciding with this resistance in price and the recent pullback after that so those are two reasons why we see this rejection around the 1000 price mark now, if we go and zoom in or zoom out, actually, and take a look at the big picture, we can see that around this level here where we have the monthly closing high, we arrive at resistance in price by way of looking at the RSI on a long-term monthly chart. And we can draw a line. like that and we see that this line to the previous lows line was broken here of that pullback zone became resistance during that monthly closing high we got a shallow pullback after that and now we've come here in early 2018 late 2017 we see re rejection on the back test of that line which again explains why this 1000 price mark has been a problem for this year now there's another way of looking at this which is the recent highs and we can do that by considering where we broke down here in 2015 of those highs we take that information and draw our uniformity resistance line and again we can see here there was rejection on the line for this monthly closing high uniform activity above the line and back below it for the monthly closing high there and recently during the failed breakout this also became resistance for this monthly closing high so lots of ways of ending up with the same conclusion that this is where one would have expected resistance if the stock was going to go higher then of course it needed to clear all these resistance levels that we are discussing here otherwise one other observation is that at the highs there was rsi 69.1 rejection and this is something I discuss a lot this idea that when a stock is trying to move higher but is rejected when trying to 
go above the 69.1 level, especially if the rejection comes with uniform activity. As we see here, uniform activity rejection, that is also another layer of understanding why we made the high and since making that high, prices have been soft and continue to be soft. In conclusion, I should add, as we know that should a stock come and test the RSI 50 successfully, that tends to be a reversal area. So the stock is trading around the 50. If it wants to bounce and has intentions of bouncing, it has to hold the RSI 50. Otherwise, failure to hold the RSI 50 suggests that with a break, if it breaks below 50, chances are we might see a continuation of this move lower. Eric Moadith, Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, C, S, Woo.